Vegapunk is Donald Trump. That's right. <laughs> this is your boy, me, and to the channel, Anime and Manga Means More. And this time we will be on One Piece chapter 685. 684? Smoker and Virgo have a little talk. And he's talking about the Marines. He turns on them and G5 and everything. And Virgo just comes right out like, yeah. He said, I just, he said, I just came at, you know, G5 and took it to him. Smoker goes off and goes at Virgo. He takes it straight to his front door. Out of nowhere, Virgo's bamboo comes out. So Virgo's serious now, meaning he's pretty strong. He didn't even use, he had the bamboo, but he didn't use it on law. But did you see the bamboo appear out of nowhere? I don't know if he had it up his sleeve, but it, it looked like it just appeared out of nowhere. And he's using, you know, Harden with it. And he turns it into a cannon. I don't know why he had to blow it up, but he turns into a cannon. It blew, it blows up, and he shoots like this, this, this bomb or something at at Smoker. But Smoker like dissipates. He goes like intangible and let the um, the thing. It doesn't pass through him. He just like opens his body up, so it goes in a hole into him. So you know how high key can you can hit uh, uh, um, Logias, but the Logia might open up their body to let the thing pass through it, so that they can't turn it tangible on you but they can let it pass through by separating their body parts. Smoke Dog and Virgo are going at it, and this is one of the most exciting parts of the chapter. Smoke Dog shows Virgo his heart and high key. I was like, what? Meanwhile, Dig, Saji is helping Tashigi, right? This is one of the most funny parts of the chapter. And she says, why are you helping us out and all that kind of stuff? Like he's uh, con uh, conversing with G5 and um, Tashigi and everything. She says, we're enemies. And T Sanji, oh my God, my boy Sanji. He says, no, that's just how society sees us. He said, they have us set up as enemies. He said, but pirates, we can be friends with anybody. We can do whatever we want. That was crazy. That was kind of funny. I was laughing. That, that really made me laugh. Looks like a dragon was in the room and it destroyed the room. And that carbonite fog is coming in. So they got to make an escape. Now, we cut to Caesar, and Caesar has a plan for them. Like, he's going to cut the gates off to two buildings and leave the, the room, uh, to uh, the building R room open. That way he knows where they're going. He's going to send them in there, and then he's going to let the uh, carbonite fog in on them. And he's laughing the whole time. Like, he's grinning from ear to ear. He's loving it. Turns out, building R, Caesar is in there, but he's on the second floor. And the second floor building R is Baker Punk's office, or his old office, and Caesar doesn't even like that. Now, the funny thing about it is, he's giving Baker Punk's old workers and uh, Caesar's workers, or whatever, his, his subordinates, a cheap speech. Like, he's talking about some, um, they asked him, they said, should we help out with, because we are, you know, your subordinates, we should be doing something. He said, nah, he said, I, I, he said, I prefer if you guys stay safe. So like, but he's like real nonchalant with it. Like, he really doesn't care about them. And the funny thing was, he spills the beans. Caesar basically tells on himself because he's talking about some, I'm going to surpass what you call him, and I had to do this and did that. And then they said, like, some of the people, they say, um, did you make that, uh, that, that, you know, that fog or whatever? And Caesar's like, like he had, to, he had to come out. He said, yeah, but, he said, wait a minute. He said, wait a minute, there's more. Vegapunk did the first one. So he's lying. He said, Vegapunk did the first one. He said, now, Vegapunk's in, you know, is at the top, you know, the science world of One Piece. He said, I can't let that happen. He said, since Vegapunk did that, he said, I got to out, you know, outdo him. And I had to make this fall to outdo him and all that. He did all kinds of, talked all kinds of nonsense. And everybody was like, oh, I'm sorry. Why did we ever doubt you? That was funny. Flashback time. Caesar is still competing with uh, Vegapunk. He's doing experiments and stuff like that. Every time Vegapunk is brought up, he always has to outdo him. Vegapunk was trying to do an experiment to make people giants. Not forcing on people, just, you know, makes, I, I guess, some serum or something like that. If you want to become a giant, you can just take it and become a giant. And Vegapunk failed. Caesar was like, I told him he should be using kids, you know, while they're still growing and yada, yada, yada. I'm telling them. And then he says, he says, Sengoku is soft. He said, now, Akainu, he has my back. He knows 
that you got to, you know, crack a few eggs to make an omelet. And he says, you know, we got to experiment on humans. Stop being soft, you know, and you, you know, trying to do everything, you know, by the book. He said, experiment on humans. He said, as long as we get the job done, that's all that counts. And that's basically what he was saying. Like, he doesn't care. And Vegapunk has a spot in his head. Like, Caesar can't get over Vegapunk, period. So what happens is Vegapunk is in there going crazy. He's coming up with these experiments, you know, the, the last experiment that blew up the island. He's working on that. Vegapunk comes in. He says, I'm sorry, Caesar, you got to go. He said, you, you're done. You're fired. <laughs> he said, because I can't take this, you know, inhumane, you know, your science or whatever. And they, I mean, uh, Caesar feels like I got to get this last experiment off to, to prove, you know, myself. And he goes ahead and do, does it anyway with no, you know, disregard and blows up the island. That's what happened. He said, I got to get this last, you know, thing in. And goes ahead and does it, you know, unauthorized and blows up the whole island. So that's how that really happened. So that was funny. That was real funny. See the whole, whole his whole part was funny. Back to Luffy in that trash heap. It looks like you guys were right. He's talking to this um dragon, and the dragon looks like it might be Momonosuke. Why? He has this big silly grin and stuff like that. So looks like he might be a kid. Yeah, so you got that's kind of cliche, but you guys are right. Yeah, but you can let Oda get away with that because he's usually he's usually pretty abstract. Overall, this was a great chapter, kind of like anticlimactic because and kind of isn't because we didn't really get to the end, but uh, we got some clues that's coming to the end. But we've been getting that for the last couple weeks. But this was a good chapter. So Caribou is saved. His crew came and they. G5 must not be that strong because Caribou's, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Caribou's crew is like clowns and they was able to beat G5 and they're getting ready to save him. Next is Smoker and Virgo are going at it, finally. And Smoker can use Hard and High Key. This is going to be a good fight. I know it. And I think Virgo might have a uh, stick stick no me. He can make stuff sticks and he can make, he can make things stick and he can make sticks appear out of the blue. Make bamboo sticks, I guess tree sticks, I don't know. I'm just joking, but maybe. I, maybe, maybe. This got to be, you know, the climax, because everybody's heading towards the same room. There's no way. Everybody going to the same spot is coming to the climax, finally. And then, but at the same time, they got to watch out for uh, Baby Five and um, uh, uh, Buffalo. But the island's closed off, so they, 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 they have to be traveling underwater, I'm thinking. They have to be traveling underwater. And if that's the case, then they might be able to uh, evade Baby Five and uh, uh, Bambino. Bambino Buffalo. <laughs> but anyway, also, Law's crew might still, might be at the island. Because remember, I think they had to travel underwater. Oh my God. I think they might have to travel underwater to escape through that tunnel. Because they're not going on dry land. Otherwise, they will get, you know, tore up by Shinokuni or whatever. You know, the carbonite fog. So, and we know what type of ship Law has. It's a submarine. His crew could be on there chilling. We don't know that. His crew could be right there at the island, chilling in the submarine, waiting for Law to get back. Momonosuke, he might be that dragon that we see with Luffy. Or, you know, something real funny. He might step out from behind the dragon. No, this is me. I'm Mo uh, I'm a, a tiny mind son. Now like you step out from behind the dragon. That'd be funny. But if he is a dragon... He can get Luffy out of that um, trash heap, but we think that Luffy can get out himself. But if he is, Law, Chopper, or Frankie might be able to change him back. And I know, I know what you guys are saying. Frankie? Yeah, Frankie. Frankie has to be smart. I mean, he's able to make all these you know, machines and stuff like that. Plus, he's seen some blueprints from Vegapunk about cell manipulation and stuff like that. He might be able to you know, ma manipulate people's cells and be, he might have been able to do that now. I'm, I'm not sure. But he's, he's, he's done the research, so he might be able to do it. Chopper and Law are scientists, so they might, I mean, not scientists, die this gun. Mm. Chopper and Law are, 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 are doctors. They might be able to do something to fix it. But if they can't do that as doctors, Law may be able to use his powers to do it. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe. Maybe. Because what if he switches, what if he can switch his people's powers? What if he really can do that? 
I don't know. Maybe he could. God know he can switch people, but I'm not sure. But anyway, he might be able to somehow use his power, use some mojo, take body parts of humans and give them, make them a new body and put some in their body. But anyway, this is your boy, me. Welcome. Don't pay no attention to that. Anyway, go ahead and leave your comments. Break the video, subscribe, and all the other good jazz. And I'm out. Peace.